He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I have decided I recorded all the epilogue missions. I'm not going to post them all. Uh, only a few interesting ones. And then I'm going to move on to other videos. I want to know maybe what you think. I still have all the footage for the legendary animal hunts, except for the special cougar that in order to get, you have to reach, I think, level 8 as a master hunter. And that was just something I decided I wasn't going to do. But that is what it is. I may replay Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point. But please feel free in the comments of this video to let me know if I should post some form of legendary hunt video for all the animals or maybe each animal separately. So let's get on with this video. It was one of the more interesting ones. John is told by uncle that Charles is alive and in St. Denis doing bare knuckle fighting. So Charles being one of the more enjoyable and honorable characters in the group, uh, yeah, he's someone John would want to find and potentially have as a friend and helper. So let's get on with bare knuckle friendship. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? At first, I was going to run around town and go to the saloons. Then I saw something on the map and out of the corner of my eye, and I realized, my horse is here. I can ride around the town, and I might as well just jump on my horse and ride around town. I decided to check the saloon where you meet Sadie and Sadie and Dutch in the main missions as Arthur and find out if he has any information. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? 
Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. I think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. I have a feeling that no matter which place you ask at, they would know where the fight was happening. It just happens to be around the corner from this saloon. Right over here. Right around the corner. Very easy to get to. And a very short ride, so I'm not even going to fast forward through it. How are you? <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> not one of life's great it's mysteries. Still love a surprise. <laughs> And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Kind of. Kind of just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Timmy's Micah. What is it? Don't black out just yet. Get him, Charles. No, knock him out. Don't be stupid. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Uh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I... Okay, after that exchange, you take a long walk with Charles to get his trunk. And you have a conversation with him about what had happened and how life has 
moved on or what they did. I'll let you just play that out. I'm going to fast forward to the next important part. Not these days. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Okay. Uh, come over here. What now? Well, we go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> After that shootout, you have wanted, dead or alive, uh, bounty on your head. Charles is driving, and all you have to do is keep a lookout for the law. You won't get stopped by the law. You will have a clear shot out of town, and you meet up with Uncle at the bridge. So I'm just going to fast forward through this part of the thing, or of the event. Boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> now you go through some beautiful fast travel to where John arrives at the Beecher's Hope Ranch with Charles and Uncle. They're already there, and you can then move on in life and go on your next grand adventure. In fact, let's get to the final of this video. You split some wood, and you get the... Mission complete. Bare knuckle friendships. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, thumbs up icon, etc. Leave feel free to leave a comment. Like I said, I'm interested in what you think I should do. Should I post legendary animal hunts or just move on? Because I do have a lot of those videos. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week based on video games. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.